Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and started off the fourth and final case of this game, and we've met some familiar faces. Some that I've... some that I'm a big fan of, some that I'm not. Anyways, in this episode we're going to go ahead and uh, move back to the hallway. Or we're going to move back here first and then move to the hallway because we're going to go ahead and investigate some things. There's a special order from the police saying, hey... Something's going down, and Maya wants to look around because she's weird. There's nothing really out of the ordinary here. Are you looking for the something that the old lady was talking about? Doesn't look like it happened here. Well, we'd better go look somewhere else. Alright, then let's try... Excuse me. Ah! <clears throat> Are you by chance Miss Maya Faye? Um, yeah, that's me. You have a phone call waiting for you at the front desk. A call? I wonder if it's someone from Kurine Village. What's wrong, Mystic Maya? Oh, nothing. I'll just go ahead and check it out, okay? Okay. Right this way, Miss Faye. Let's go look somewhere else now, Mr. Nick. Yeah, okay. This is a little exciting, and a little scary. Okay, I'm not one to usually comment on appearances, and he's not even in the court record, but that bellboy was freaky looking. Had a zipper up and down his face, and... Ugh. I told you! I told you! I get the people the info they want, which means I've got a right to know. Nope, don't care who you are, pal. We're still investigating, so you can't go in. What's your problem? Just you wait. I'll, it'll be all over the morning paper. Scruffy detective secret scandal revealed. You'll see. I'll get you back. Those two sound pretty serious. That southern accent can only mean... Hey, right. Hey, Lotta. Come on, do a gal a favor and get this cop tell this cop I'm just doing my job and I've got rights. Ah, you! Ah, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal, help a guy out. Tell her that only the police are allowed in here. This is the scene of a moita, so she should leave this to the pros. Uh, murder? Ah, shoot. Me and my big mouth. See, I knew it. My gut instinct told me so. I always trust my gut. A murder, it said. And that's what it is. Genuine murder. Hey, wait. Yeehaw! A murder of a big star, no less. Oh man, I'm in trouble now. So yeah, once again, they reintroduce a beloved character like Gumshoe. They reintroduce a character with Lotta. I don't know why they brought her back twice in this game. She's like, uh, I don't know. Let's get this over with. I don't know why I exited out of present. Attorney's badge. Would you take a look at this for me? Listen, pal. I'm not leaking any info about the evidence to you this time. If I do, my salary's really gonna get it. And then I won't even be able to get those instant noodles down at the discount market. Do you have anything to say about your face? I'm pretty sure you've had something to say the past couple cases. I look good. I think I've lost some weight, pal. It's only wishful thinking. Wishful thinking, huh? In that case, I wishfully think I've lost some weight. <laughs> I wishfully think he might face the facts one day. Lately, I've been on the instant noodles only diet, pal. Ah, uh, poor Gumshoe. What happened? So, Detective Gumshoe. A murder? Ah, uh, no, that's not it. I got my facts mixed up for a second there, pal. Um, Mr. Nick? Is the dead person the Nickel Samurai? Huh? Why do you ask? Well, Mystic Maya was rooting for him, so... It wasn't the Nickel Samurai that got bumped. Actually, the Nickel Samurai is the one that had a suspicion of doing the bumping off. What? The guy that died was the hero named the Jammin' Ninja, pal. The Jammin' Ninja? So the victim was the Jammin' Ninja? The Jammin' Ninja! Count how many, how many times they say the Jammin' Ninja. He was on a really popular rival TV show to the Nickel Samurai. 
Oh. The victim was the action star, Juan Carita. He got a huge push and rode the express train to start him. I mean, even I know who he is. Yeah, even I recognize his face. But I heard that Mad on God's been taking the wind out of his sail. I'm telling you, pal, as far as who's popular, the two, those two are hogging the limelight. I guess there's no space for Mr. Powers after all, huh? Poor guy. Mr. En Guard, um, that's the Nickel Samurai, right? Yup. I mean, no! You gotta say it with more oomph. The Nickel Samurai! Anyway, so now that Juan Corita's gone, that means that Mr. En Guard has the whole stage to himself, wouldn't you say? I wouldn't bet on it, pal. We can't have that happen, you know. Can't have that happen. What's that supposed to mean, I wonder? <clears throat> Um, that woman with the big puffy hair that looks like cotton candy. You mean Lotta? That woman. She was there that time too, right? That time. When Mystic Maya did that channeling? Oh, that time. Well, Lotta's a journalist, so that's why she was there. Journalist? It looks like she was hanging around here before the moita happened. Hanging around? Yeah. Hiding, waiting in front of the jamming ninja's door, pal. Uh, why would she... She wouldn't tell me, pal. Just said something about getting my big scoop. Scoop? What sort of news could she be after? Uh, well, not much going on here, so... Might as well head back. No one's around. Actually, wait, no, what? There is, there is one thing that we need to do. We need to present the profile of Matt on guard. The Nickel Samurai! You really took the Grand Prix tonight. I's a big fan of his. Really? Oh, I'm sorry then. Why are you sorry? Mr. On guard was just arrested, pal. On suspicion of moiter in one Corita. What? Okay, now we have a new talk option. Why was Mr. On Guard arrested? Sorry, pal. But that's not something I can tell you. We just started the investigation, so we don't want any leaks. Looks like yet another Steel Samurai hero is in hot water. Um, Mr. Nick? If Mystic Maya knew about this... Yeah, I know. She'd make me take the case, I know. Now I think we can head back. I think. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> hey, so what's going on, Mr. Wright? Looks like Juan Carita has been killed. W what? Juan is... he's... Looks like he was murdered. And a, and a suspect was arrested. That suspect is Mr. Mad on guard. Y you're joking, right? Nope. They arrested the Nickel Samurai on suspicion of murdering the Jammin' Ninja. Oh, not again. Oh, I feel sick. Again? About a year ago, something just like this happened, Pearls. I still can't believe. No way. No way Matt would... Hmm? What's Mr. Powers got in his hand? Oh, before I forget, this... This is for you, Mr. Wright. I got this from the bellboy that came by earlier. For me? But, why? I don't know. All he said was it was for Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney. Well, we'll keep that in mind. Let's talk about Matt and Juan for now. Matt is the most energetic and active actor out there right now. The Knuckle Samurai really sealed his place as a pop idol, but, uh, he kept adding fuel to the fire of his rivalry, rivalry with Juan anyway. Mr. Juan, he th he's the jamming ninja, right? Those two would butt heads over everything they could think of. But I'd say that Matt was the one who almost always came out on top. I guess some people who only know how to relate to others by butting heads like a ram. Juan said that he'd take Matt on this time too, so we joined a rival TV show. And that was the Jammin' Ninja? The stylish Nickel Samurai and the burning Jammin' Ninja. Well, things turned messy really fast with those two using their shows for their war. 
And the final tally? Look around. It's pretty obvious how things ended up. Matt even won the Grand Prix this year. The final win over his rival, I guess. Mr. On Mr. On Guard was going to hold a press conference, wasn't he? That's what I heard. Though if you wanted to get technical about it, it was the Nickel Samurai's conference. The Nickel Samurai's? Yeah, he was supposed to wear his costume and give the press conference that way. So he was supposed to be in costume? But why? I'm not sure. They don't keep me in the loop anymore. Um, I was just wondering. Where's Mystic Maya? She's been gone a long time. Now that she mentions it, she was only going to answer a phone call. Maybe she got lost. I'll take a quick look around for her. Ah! What is it, Mr. Nick? Huh? I'm, I'm not sure. Did this transceiver just... Y yes? Hello? Right here. <clears throat> is this Mr. Phoenix Wright? The attorney. And you are? You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to be concerning yourself with. Such as... Help! Nick! Mystic Maya! Maya? So, Mr. Wright. So, Mr. Wright. Wouldn't you agree that the most important issue is the fate of the girl? Her fate? Does he mean what I think he means? Maya! Where are you? Are you hurt? Come now. Don't fall apart on me yet. This... No! This can't be! Now that I have your attention, Mr. Attorney, I have a modest proposal for you. If you do what I require, then I will return you your valuable item unharmed. What is this called again in your fancy lawyer terms? Kidnapping for ransom. Yes, that's it. This is a kidnapping. Ah! Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya! My sight. Everything's fading away. Maya. Maya. Maya's been kidnapped! You there? Mr. Wright, are you there? It, how much? How much do you want? Very good, Mr. Attorney. I'm glad you have such a good grasp of the situation. Hurry up and state your condition, and then return my- Money is not what I seek. What? What I want is a certain verdict. I would like a complete acquittal. C complete acquittal? What in the world have you done to need- I am not the person you will be representing. What? You are currently at the Gatewater Hotel, are you not? And I know that a murder has just taken place there. Juan Carita was killed and the suspect is mad on guard. You are, as expected, quite on top of things, Mr. Attorney. Now then, what I want is very simple. I want you to obtain a complete acquittal for Matt on guard. Matt on guard? But why? He did not kill anyone. I can attest to that. However... However? However what? However, someone is framing him for the murder. A very smart someone who is setting him up to take the fall. If I agree and do what he wants, can I believe he'll keep his end of the bargain? You are, of course, at liberty to believe me, or not. However, there's one thing you can take as fact. Right now, your very precious item is with me, in my possession. Help! Nick! Maya! You have two days. Of course, tonight you will be in questioning with the police. But the trial is in two days. After that trial, you will win a not guilty verdict. Remember, you only have one chance. One chance, Mr. Wright. One? You expect me to get a not guilty in one day? Yes, exactly. I don't... I don't believe I was wrong in choosing you. So don't let me down. Ah! Oh yes, that's right. <clears throat> now that I am playing the role of the kidnapper, I can't pass up this chance to say, and don't even think about calling the cops. Hmm, not great, but you get the idea. D damn it! Who, who the hell are you? All right, I'll let you in on that much. My name is Dick Hilder. Ah! 
M Mr. Nick! Where's Mystic Maya? She's been kidnapped. No. It's all my fault! If only I'd gone with Mystic Maya. It's not your fault, Pearls. But it is! It is! Mystic Maya! Eh. Mr. Wright, I think we need to... Mr. Wright, I think we... I think we should tell the police what's going on. No, we can't do that. We do who knows what will happen to Maya. Mr. Nick, what about the detective we saw earlier? Detective Gumshoe. Yes, that's it. Wait here, and I'll be right back. All right, I'll take care of Pearl while you're away. What? Ransom? Shh, not so loud. The ransom is com is the com the ransom is complete acquittal for Mad on Guard. Wait. The deal is complete acquittal in exchange for Maya. You mean? Then this means Mad on Guard is obviously the killer, pal. No doubt about it. But the guy said that Mr. On Guard is innocent. Really believe what a kidnapper tells you, pal? I guess he has a point. If On Guard is really innocent, then why the kidnapping? And on top of everything else, there's all this evidence we keep finding. Huh? The guys with the eagle eyes are really lapping it up like they just caught a huge fish. Um... But it's strange. There's so much evidence that it feels like something's wrong. There's too much evidence. Is that possible? Actually, didn't the kidnapper say something about on guard being set up? Anyway, looks like you won't be leaving here tonight, pal. Just sit tight and cooperate with the investigation. Tomorrow you can start yours. Uh, Alright. Isn't there another way? We've also got to be careful about pushing the kidnapper the wrong way. You're right. Mm. Ow, my head. Where? Where am I? I wonder if I'm still in that hotel. What happened to me? Nick. Pearly. Come on, you guys. This isn't funny anymore. I see you have awoken. Ah! Who are you? Me. I am known as De Killer. D De Killer? You mean like an assassin? Uh, I'm too young to die. Don't worry. You are not my target. For now, anyway. Uh, ah! Nick! Nick! Where are you? Help me. Yes, that's right. Only one person can save you now, and that is Mr. Phoenix Wright. Huh? W what? Nick? Nick's going to save me? Calm down and be a good girl. Think of this as a business transaction. Uh, a business transaction? I'm going to contact him now. I hope you'll cooperate and play your assigned role well. Nick. What's going to happen to me? Nick, Pearls, Sis. Is this Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney? You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to be concerning yourself with, such as...